Valentine's is coming up. We can't avoid it, guys. But everyone loves a guy that can cook, eh? Always difficult to get a restaurant reservation. Restaurants are always seem to be fully booked very, very early. I know we're fully booked this year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you for Valentine's Day an absolute bulletproof, dead easy dish that you can prepare at home in less than 10 minutes. That's cook and serve that is guaranteed to win you big, big, big brownie points with the missus. Okay, what we've got here is we've got some lovely razor clams. You just want to give these a quick wash and take any uh, excess grit off them. Got some clams. Again, you get these from your fishmonger. We've got some mussels. Um, you notice as well that we're not forking out in oysters. You're not going to be chopping your finger off, which, trust me, isn't very nice in a Valentine's meal. You're running about with a roll of bandages. We've got some herbs, got some lemons, we've got some onions. And some punk. We're going to cook this in punk. This is going to be a punk marinier. Let's take these shallots and we'll just chop them down. Some garlic. Garlic's always great for Valentine's Day. Everybody speaks about aphrodisiacs and all that. I think that a lot of dishes that are taste good, flavoursome, put people in a good mood and that will involve garlic. Okay, we've got some mixed herbs here. What I've got is I've got some dill, I've got some coriander, I've got some chives, I've got some parsley. You can buy these sort of mixed up at 50 gram packs in any supermarket. Shallots, easy to get. Garlic, easy to get. Seafood. I would recommend going to a good quality fishmonger, speaking to the fishmonger, they're always more than helpful to source, supply and if you interact with them you always make sure you, they'll give you the best that they've got. So we'll keep the herbs there, get the onions out there, just got a wee bit of lemon. Normally in a marinier we'd use white wine but I'm going to substitute white wine for some punk IPA in this instance and um, is for cooking with seafood I would say that it's a lot better than a dry white wine it's got a bit more body of depth um, it's not too bitter um, but it's got a lot more to play with than a sort of sweet or a dry white wine just add a wee bit of olive oil there to start it off we'll pop our mussels in at the bottom of there we have got liquid that's coming out of the um, seafood there. We use that for cooking with, it's all natural. Now you're steaming it in the good stuff. To that we'll add our onion and garlic. We'll add a quarter of a pint of punk. And leave that for approximately four to five minutes just to steam through. But it's worth just moving it about every minute or so. After these have been in there for about two minutes, we're going to add the razor clams. We're going to pop them into steam. So with one minute to go on this dish, we're going to add the herbs at this point. Um, don't add the herbs at the beginning because they're just going to lose all their colour and luster by the end of the cooking process. You will get enough of the herb flavour by adding it at the end just for a minute. It's going to infuse very, very strongly. Quick squeeze a lemon, it's right on the end, and that's it ready. Okay, we'll find our razors. Razor clams are just beautifully, um, very, very sweet meat. If you see any mussels that the mussels came out the shell, get rid of the, take the shell out. Just creates a bit more space in the bowl and that means when you reach the end of it you've got that really lovely broth at the bottom and um, packed full of muscle meat and 
clam meat. Put our sauce over. Grab our razors. And that's a Scottish shellfish, punk IPA, marinier.